Hey guys, this is Jules. It has been a while since I put out a video on YouTube, so I figured my first video back could be an easy one, just a breakdown of the Stamp Sork build that I run in VMA. I'm also going to be uploading videos of each of the stages from a Stamp Sork point of view so I can help people who might be struggling with mechanics. Before we start, I just want to say that I didn't create this build. This is just a video to promote what I run and to help others who might not know exactly what Best in Slot is. This gear uh, that I'm wearing is considered by most PBEers that I've spoken to to be best in slot for Stamp Sork in VMA. So I just want to give a special shout out to Fear Turbo and Nifty who both helped me when I was a noob uh, first gearing out and learning this place from a Stamp Sork point of view. So thank you both sincerely for your efforts in helping me. So uh, let's hop into it. First, let's take a look at this stat sheet. Oh, my stats just fell off. I'm wasting a lot of weapon power pots with this. Um, weapon crit is going to be at 81%, weapon damage 35-23, max dam 35-36k, 17k health. These values are all really strong. This build is centered around stacking weapon crit and stacking uh, physical pen. It's not so much about stacking uh, stamina or health, but you, I promise, can still do a lot of damage even only with, you know, 35.5k max dam. So, those are the values. We are running Thief to get to that 81%. We are also running Max Health and Max Stam Food and Weapon Power Pots. So those are the pots that we use and those are the reasons that we use them. Moving on to gear. Stamp Sork does not have um, major fracture within its arsenal. So we are using Night Mother which when you deal critical damage, you reduce the enemy's physical resistance by 2580. So if you remember, we have 81% crit, we are constantly critting, so we are constantly reducing our enemy's physical resistance around us. So Night Mother is really good. I have three on the armor and two daggers. The daggers were chosen because daggers give um, percentage of crit again, so all of these things are just adding to that 81% crit. The other Two piece, uh, five piece rather that I run is Vicious Ophidian. This is found in Trials. I run three of the gold jewelry, golden, gold enchants. Um, it's going to be 174 weapon damage for each. Make sure that you enchant these with weapon damage, not cost reduction, not anything like that. Uh, so these, these three, and then the armor is what makes the the five piece. Best in slot for trait for PvE is going to be Divines, again just to stack that crit uh, since we're running the Thief Mundus. So almost every piece that I have on is Divines except for this terrible belt which is reinforced but that's just RNG for you. The final two piece set that I'm running is Veladreths. These are both Divines. This just sends out three little orbs um, of damage. Uh, disease damage and it hits targets all around you. Veladreth is extremely good in VMA. I honestly can't say how good it is. It's just extremely good. There are other options. You could run Crags. On a Storm Sork, you could potentially run Stormfest, but in my opinion, I think Veladreth is going to be best in slot again. And the last but not least item that we're running is Maelstrom Bow, uh, Sharpened. This is going to buff the damage of our volley, or in this case, uh, Endless Hail. All right, so let's move on to skills. First, we have Rapid Strikes, Rending Slashes, Steel Tornado, Bound Armaments. This is a toggle, so it's gonna need to be on both bars, and then Hurricane. So these are the skills. The ultimate that I use is Rend, and let me just um, explain a little bit about each of these skills. Rapid Strikes has an alternative morph, um, Bloodthirst. Rapid Strikes is going to be the one that does more damage. Bloodthirst is going to be the one that gives you a heal. So if you are newer to Maelstrom, uh, Bloodthirst might be something that you want to choose. Same thing with Rending Slashes. This is a dot. Um, the Rending Slashes morph of it does more damage, and then the Blood Craze one does less damage, but it has a heal. So you'll have to decide for yourself whether that's something that you want to do. Moving on to the third skill, Steel Tornado. This is just your basic AoE ability, and it's also... Um, and execute, so keep that in mind. Bound Armaments again. Bound Armaments, the main reason that we run this and we sacrifice two skill uh, two skill slots for Bound Armaments is 8% max stam. Um, without this, we're sitting at 33k stam, which is pretty low. So we just put this on and that bumps us up to, what is it, 35809. So it gives us you know a good amount, 2k plus stam. The final skill on this bar is Hurricane. This gives us Major Resolve and Major Ward. 
It also gives us minor expedition. This minor expedition is going to stack with the major expedition of Vicious Ophidian. So Vicious Ophidian, when you kill things, um, you're restoring Stam, but you're also getting a major expedition boost. So you'll have major expedition and minor expedition, so your movement speed will be extremely fast. The other thing that Hurricane does is it's doing physical damage all around you, so it could be procking implosion, which is the sort passive that pulverizes enemies that are below 15% health. And the final skill on this bar, or ultimate rather, is Rend. This is just a really, really great dot. It's pretty cheap. It's uh, 128, and when it's buffed, it's going to be 61,000 damage over 16 seconds, and it heals you for half of that. So this is the skill that I prefer um, on my dual bar. It is really good, especially in certain uh, in certain rounds, and I'll explain that later on once we do the rounds. All right, moving on, moving on to the bow bar. First skill is going to be poison injection. This is going to work really well with a heavy attack into poison injection for portals that are coming. So poison injection is really good. Also, an execute. It's going to be doing more damage to. Um, enemies under 50% health. Rearming Trap, this is in your Fighter's Guild. You kind of just lay this down on a, part, uh, blah, on a portal that's spawning. You let that um, Endless Hail and the Trap hit, and then you're going to be heavy attacking and poison injectioning into an opposite portal. And so what this does is this mob will be sitting in the trap and taking the damage from the Endless Hail and the trap. Uh, you're going to be doing a pretty big heavy attack with, um, with a poison injection. This mob will be at, you know, half percent or maybe dead and so basically this half the reason why you do this is that mobs will be dying at the same time which is increase, increases your speed of being able to move through the arena the other skill we have is bound armaments we already explained that and then the final skill we have is crit surge this makes um, stam sork probably the best in maelstrom arena as far as running things because they are able to run this one skill and not have to run supplementary skills for heals Crit, uh, crit Surge just gives you 3,000 health every time you you do a critical strike. So if you can remember, we have 81% crit. Every time we crit, we're going to be reducing our target's resistance. And we're also going to be getting healed. So all those things kind of work in synergy. We'll be getting healed. We'll be reducing their damage. We'll be doing more damage because of that. We're critting. Everything's happening. It's great. Um... So yeah, Crit Surge, I can't speak highly enough of Crit Surge. Crit Surge allows you to not have to run Vigor in uh, Maelstrom Arena at all as a Stam Sork. So that's definitely a huge bonus because you can put, you know, another damage ability on your bar. If you are newer to Maelstrom and you are not necessarily sure of the mechanics, you can put Vigor on your bar. I put it there instead of Endless Hail. Um, I have done this occasionally. I did this for a while on round two because you're taking a lot of sustained damage and stuff. But uh, once you get more comfortable, you really don't need vigor at all on a Stam Sorg. You can just run through the entire place with just crit surge and damage, and you should be totally fine. For ultimates on the back bar, I usually run Dawnbreaker or Smiting. This one is a little bit burstier. It has better damage than the alternative, and it's also a knockdown, which can be useful in certain rounds. And then the only other time that I'm not running Dawnbreaker would be when I am running Suppression Field, which is the damage morph of Negate. And I run that on the second round, but I could potentially see that working pretty well in the fifth round as well. All right, so that is the gear and the skills. So let's get into the CP. First and foremost, we have the green tree. Um, we have 100 into Warlord for reduction of stam cost. 36 into Sprinter. I do sprint constantly in VMA. Um, sprinting to get to another portal, sprinting to avoid mechanics. Um, to me, Sprinter is worth it. A lot of people don't think that that is worth it, but to me, it is. I've changed up the CP to not include Sprinter before, and I've definitely felt the sustain issues. Um, I have one point into Tenacity, and I have 50 points into Tumbling. I am considering swapping the Sprinter and the Tumbling, because I think that I actually sprint more than I dodge roll, but I'll have to see whether that's worth it or not. Uh, moving into the blue tree, we have one into melee weapon and one into bow. This just increases the damage of our light and heavy attacks with those. We have 100 into mighty, 48 into thaumaturge for dots, 37 into precise strikes for damage and healing crits. 
We have 80 into Hardy, 80 into Ellie Defender, 17 into Thick Skins, and 10 into Quick Recovery. So that is the entire CP setup. And now we can get out of here. So yeah, so that should be the entire build, guys. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, um, I would be happy to talk about this. Like I said, uh, this is not something that I came up with entirely on my own. This is um, mostly the efforts of Fear Turbo helping me with like CP and different things like that. I have uh, edited some of the things that he runs just because it's a little bit better for me. And that's kind of what you know I would expect that other people would do for them as well if you don't like the CP setup. If you don't like the way you know certain skills you are used or anything like that, then you can definitely um, come up with alternatives for uh, this build. The other thing that I just wanted to touch upon quickly before I go is Vicious Ophidian is difficult to get. Um, so is Veladreth. So if you are interested in in something that you can get that's not um, best in slot like Vicious Ophidian. You could potentially run um, Red Mountain if you can get a hold of it. I would do probably three on the body and then the head and shoulders. Uh, you could move these um, Night Mother pieces. So you do five Night Mothers on the body, five uh, Red Mountain head and shoulders and jewelry. And then you could just do, you know, two piece agility. You could do um, two piece Lecky. I think. When I spoke to Fear, he said that he recommends the agility. Of course, you would still want to go daggers for the crit. Um, and that's really it. Um, there's a lot of different other options that you could go. You could go crags, but if you don't have anything that uh, that would be best in slot, like some of the gear that's here, um, and you want some help figuring out exactly what works with what you have, then, then feel free to uh, give me a holler. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching this video, and... Have a good day.